colour was becoming very, very important in, uh, in, 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 in certainly in Great Britain. At that time, with, with the designers, so you had Vidal Sassoon with the haircuts, you had um, a woman called Mary Quant who designed the mini dress, uh, and then you had all these fantastic uh, people, uh, shops called Bieber. Uh, the Beatles had uh, a Dutch fashion, uh, uh, one woman and three guys called The Fool. Now The Fool um, came over and they designed the most beautiful, beautiful clothes. Patchwork clothes in silk, colour, colour, colour. Now the Beatles were instrumental in, in, in that particular way. And I think that was the first time because before that, shirt and ties were the shirt and tie. Um, the only difference they did, which was a fashion thing, was they had a, uh, a suit without a collar. I think they got a very big influence with the fashion in India. When they met the Maharishi in the beginning, they met the, him through uh, Ravi Shankar. And George was taking a very big influence of um, uh, the Indian music, the culture the meditation, the sitar, the colour, the carnivals, the festivities. Uh, so we were sort of, we had a, a head start in England, music-wise and fashion-wise. And the whole idea of having all this and people seeing colour and hair and peace and love in America was fantastic because it helped the Beatles. Because when they went to America with all that, that's where Shea Stadium and everybody, you've got hundreds of thousands of people wanted to see the group that was different. And the big difference is, we were talking about before, what made them a bit different, is that they were four guys who were individuals to writing their own music. 